The ritual of seeing a concert, the surroundings, the ambience of the space, all of it is part of the performance. But there's something that appeals to us about playing in these spaces that don't necessarily have a stage. It's exciting to change people's ideas about how music can be experienced and interacted with. And give people the opportunity to see the places they know in a new way. But it's sometimes really challenging. We'd always wanted to experiment with having light and color be an extension of the music that we were performing. This one is 18, right? And I remember walking by a, a lamp shop in the middle of the night, all these, these lights, hundreds of lights in this room, and thinking, what if they weren't these just isolated units, but what if they were all in network and, and in concert together? And what if we can actually control them with music? Okay, so essentially there's a gap that we have to account for. Yeah. Any new program, instrument, or hardware can inspire a new idea for us. We need to be able to hear the music that we're, we're working on accurately, but we also still need to be able to communicate. Adding the blur helps it feel less manic. It looks better. The ability to link that with color and with light opens up a new world of possibilities. It does make it really exhilarating when you see that it worked. There's always a pretty big learning curve. It's the fusion of several different mediums and programs and devices. It's definitely more than the sum of its parts. And it becomes just something magical.